make a deal. And here's America's top trader, TV's big dealer, Monty Hall. Thank you very much. Thank you. I thank you and welcome you to Let's Make a Deal. Here we are. As we have been wont to say in the past, more fun for Square Inch than anywhere else in television. Right. And it happens right here because the people are so grand. And, and uh, would you come over here? I was looking for a little couple and... Uh... <laughs> look at, look at that, here's the twist. This is the football player and this is the cheerleader. That's good, me and Doug Downing. I'm going to give you a deal. I'm going to give you this uh, very, very nice bag, and I'm going to give you this very nice wallet. And, you know, sometimes I put things inside wallets and handbags, right? Right. 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 And there might be something in there right now. So you can keep on to the, hold on to the handbag, hold on to the wallet if you think there's money inside, and take it home with you, no questions asked. If, however, you should want to trade away your wallet, Doug, and what's inside it, if anything, you notice the way I always qualify it? <laughs> then you could have something that we have behind curtain number one. Let me caution you, many times I put a lot of money in those wallets. And many times... <laughs> did, you put money in did I help you with all that information? I haven't given him one bit of help, have I? No, you haven't. No. <laughs> I'll take the curtain. He's gonna take the curtain. Inside here, Doug, I had a very nice $500. Oh. Oh. Yes, 500 is what we had. And what have we got for Doug instead? Behind the curtain, he traded away for all these garbage cans. <laughs> Not just ordinary garbage cans, friends, but you'll be the class of your neighborhood because you'll have one for every day of the weekend. Who else can make that statement? All the others have to put theirs in one or two cans, but you have one specifically for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. What's the matter, Chuck? You don't like the brand of garbage we have here? Well, I think it's the cigar that's making all the smell. All right, so that's what happened to Doug. Let's see if uh, Mie can do a little better. You step in right now because Doug, he, he fumbled the ball, which you are now holding. There's money. Oh, I said it. I didn't want to say it, but I said there is money inside your hand. Oh, how much money? Well, it starts with a five. I remember that. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe two zeros, maybe one zero, maybe no zeros. But you can have your bag or... Take a look at curtain number two where Julie's standing for just a moment because back there we have some uh, car wax and then you think about whether you'd like to trade for it and what's behind it. It's Turtle Wax, the world's largest selling liquid car wax. Cleans, polishes, protects, and Turtle Wax Super Hard Shell Car Wax Kit. Cleans, waxes, and seals in the shine. So now that you know that you could uh, trade away your handbag with the money inside or what's behind the, uh, the car wax, you have to make a decision. So far, your husband didn't do too well. Mie says she's going to keep the bag. Mie keeps the bag, turns down. What do we have? Was there another zonk back there? No, Mie, this time you could have had. You could have a Gibson range of the stereo. It's the exciting Gen Air convertible grill range. Let's you barbecue indoors. Smoke and odors go outdoors. And there's a convection oven for flavorful, faster meat cookery. All from Gen Air. It retails for $1,050. And while you're barbecuing, be entertained by this. Pilot audio tower system with AM, FM, stereo tuner, integrated amplifier, automatic record changer, 8-track tape player recorder, cassette player recorder, plus matching speakers and rack. Pilot, a division of Morse Electro Products Corporation. It sells for $719. Total value of this deal is $1,000. $1,779. $1,700 deal. And let's see what money there was inside here. After all, you did lose a lot. But if there's anything for consolation, you'll be very happy to know that the five was followed by a zero. And another zero for $500. So that's not so bad after all. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. If you think that's something, I'm going to come back with a deal worth over $6,000. Hey, Some of the cars for Let's Make a Deal are provided by Budget Rent-A-Car in Vancouver, featuring Ford and other fine cars. At Budget, you're number one with great service and great rates. As I said, we have an opportunity. We have an opportunity for somebody like these two kids right over here 
to stand on their feet. Slowly they got to their feet to take a look at me as I say you could get something worth over $6,000 for 700 bucks and I will make the $700 available to you here in this deal and this is what you could buy for that $700 right back of that curtain. The Datsun 210 four door sedan, beauty economy never looks so good. Featuring a peppy four cylinder, 1.2 liter engine, and standard equipment you'd expect to pay extra for. From Grant Louis North Shore Datsun, it retails for $5,833. All right. I was just a little under. I said it was over $6,000, just under $6,000. Okay, come with me. Don't be shy. What's your name? Linda. Good. What's your husband's name? Irvin. Better hurry up, Irvin, or you're going to miss the boat. All right. Come right down here. Stand beside your wife on the far side of her. I hope you guys are good at pricing items. Are you good at that? Now, here's what's happening. I have four items on this table which you are going to price, and you'll decide which one of you will give me the prices. Manufacturer suggested retail selling price. Okay, now, when you get them right, you're going to get some money, like $100 for the first one if it's right, $200 for the second, $300 for the third, $400 for the fourth. That adds up to 1000 bucks. But I only want you to earn $700 and you'll have enough money to buy the car, which means you can even make a mistake early along the line, right? But you can't make a mistake when you get down to the end. So I'll let you know how you're doing. You with me, Irvin? I think so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who's going to do the pricing? She can. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice of you? All right. So if you're ready, we'll have item number one. Listen carefully to Chuck's description. This is a golden great macaroni and cheddar dinner made with enriched elbow macaroni, creamier cheddar cheese, and other natural flavors from Golden Great Macaroni Company. I want you to price that for me within 30 cents, and I'll give you your first $100. 29. 29 cents, she says. The price actually is 35. You got $100. Yeah. <laughs> Item number two for $200. It's Kitchen Bouquet. For better homemade gravy, when you add Kitchen Bouquet, you add 100 years experience in making homemade gravies look and taste more delicious. Can you price that for me within 25 cents, please? Um, 79 cents. 79 cents. The price actually is 99. You did it. $200. <laughs> now, let me tell you, Linda, you have a cushion because now you could even miss this third one and still be in the ball game. That's why it's good to get them early in the game. Let's hear about item number three. Clorex, the breath deodorant helps your mouth's own freshening power eliminate bad breath. Costs a little more, but it's worth it. Clorex, the breath deodorant. That should be easy to price within 15 cents, shouldn't it? 30 cents. 30 cents, the price actually is 35 cents. And now you have $600. Well, we have reached that point now, the all-important final item. This is worth $400. And if you get it right, you not only have $700 to buy the car, but $300 to buy two gallons of gas. <laughs> right? So you listen very carefully to Chuck's description. Once again, manufacturer suggested retail selling price. Here we go. This is a set of Crayola watercolor paints from their exciting assortment of arts and activity kits. Everything children need for hours of imaginative play. It's fun to create with Crayola. Now then, talk it over and come up with a price and I want you to be within 20 cents, high or low of the actual price. If you're anywhere within that 40 cents spread, you have got yourself enough money to buy a car with lots left over. Now this is the moment of decision. Irvin has been talking to Linda and Linda says... $1.50. $1. fifty. All right, before we turn the price over to see whether you're right or not, I am going to make you an offer. And we'll see if you can refuse it or not, right? <laughs> Take a look at curtain number two and tell me if you want everything you see back there and call off the rest of the deal for the car. All right? Take a look at what we have back there. Chuck, tell them all about it. From Gibson, a microwave oven with digital timer to frost setting solid state variable power control. And Gibson's Tempo Sensor Cooking Pro gives you dependable, cool, clean, fast paced cooking. It sells for $500. And this gift pack from Mr. Coffee. It features America's number one coffee maker and genuine Mr. Coffee accessories, including an extra decanter and Mr. Coffee filters. Plus, we have Gibson's side by side refrigerator freezer. 21 cubic feet of frost clear space featuring adjustable cantilever shelves, door racks, plus a total energy saver system. It sells for $969. So the total value of this deal is $1,524. That is the question. Whether it is nobler of the player to forsake the opportunity for the automobile and take advantage of the magnificent offer made to them by the munificent dealer, what will they do? 
I'm going to take the curtain. They're going to take the sure thing, is what they said. Right. <laughs> All right. Back comes the money. Back comes the money. You have $1,500 plus of merchandise that nobody can take away from you, and that was yours. Incidentally, would you like to see whether you had a car or not? No. You don't want to see it. All right, then you don't look. The rest of the world can look right now. You said $1.50. You had to be within 20 cents, and you missed it by a mile. It was two sixty-two, and it's a good thing you sold out when you did. Thank you, Linda. Congratulations, Irvin Fairley, for making that deal. You guys can do whatever you want to do. I'm going to go out and paint the town red. Which one is red here? This one here, I think, is red. All right. We're going to make some more deals. Are you watching this carefully? Do you think she should have sold out or she should have gone all the way for the car? Well, she should have tried for the car. And there, friends, you have it. Right from the authority. Can I have your name, please? Mona. Mona? Yes. Mona what? McMillan. Mona McMillan speaks. And when Mona McMillan speaks, E.F. Hutton. E. Hutton listens. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mona. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. Uh, I'm going to have a pound sale. You understand what the pound sale is after I get into it. So I'm going to start with, uh, with uh, you. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Brenda Dickens. You don't know what you do with it. Just drop it on the floor. What, what, what do I do with my hands? What do I do? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come here. No, don't lose your pants, whatever you do. <laughs> Hang on to your pants, Brenda. All right, now, Brenda Douglas, here's what a pound sale is. I will give you what's in the big box that Julie is showing us right now. Are you willing? Yeah, but before you see what it is, I'll buy it back from you at the rate of $1 a pound. No, I'm... Um, no. Dollar a pound, what do you got back there? A cow? Could, if it was a cow, it'd be really something to sell, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. On the other hand, if it was just a bunch of feathers, it wouldn't weigh very much at a dollar a pound, right? No, but... Oh, I'm but it is a big box, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh. <laughs> um, so do you want the item or do you want the money? Get the box. All right, I'm going to tell you right now what was back there weighed 366 pounds. Oh, you, you just passed up, you just passed up $366, so you gotta take what's back there. What weighs 366 pounds for Brenda? She has got a set. It's Whirlpool's large capacity automatic washer with water and energy saving selectors, double duty agitator, and self cleaning filter. Also, a clothes dryer. In gas or electric with extra large capacity, custom dry control, and hamper door. From Whirlpool Corporation, they retail for $770. There you are. I see, it wasn't a cow after all. I'm glad for you. Thank you, Brenda. And Brenda's very happy too. Well, that was kind of interesting. She was sure it was a cow. Let's do it again with you, uh, sir. This is Gary McKinnon. And Gary McKinnon, we have something for you in the box that Chuck is bringing down right on my right-hand side at this moment. And it uh, doesn't look like it could weigh very much, does it? But on the other hand, you never know. But if I offered you $300 a pound for what's inside here, $300 a pound, now you can either have what's in here or sell it back to me for $300 a pound. If it just weighs a pound, it's good. If it weighs two pounds, wow. If it weighs five pounds, woo wee wow 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 woo wee. If it weighs two ounces, not so great. How much money? Three hundred dollars a pound. The money. He wants the money. I'm going to tell you. What's in there weighs a pound and a half, which means you could have had four hundred. And 50, you are going to get $450, right? Yeah. Are you happy about that? Wait till you see what we had in here. You could have had all these potato chips. Yeah. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, you may buy one of those potato chips right now. Go ahead. For $450. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, go ahead and have one. Have one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. They are good, aren't they? Mm. It, it, it's, uh, they're stale? Can't be stale. We just bought them. How dare you say they're stale? 
I'll tell you something else. And the money we give you is stale, too. Take it to the bank. It'll be real good and fresh there. Congratulations to you, young man. You did very well. And you are next. You are Miss... Miss, Miss Philippines. I was Grace Santos any day of the week, any month of the year. You're beautiful enough to be Miss Philippines. As a matter of fact, that's all I wanted to say. Oh, you want to make a deal too? Yes. Yes, all right. Tell you what I have for you, Miss Philippines. Curtain number one, where Maggie's standing right now. You own what's back there, okay? Okay. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll buy back whatever's there for 23 cents a pound. Now, if it's that cow she was talking about back there, cow weighs about 1,000 pounds, right? That would be $230. If it's two cows, it'd be $460. Of course, it could be no cows at all. It could be maybe a little cart that only weighs a couple of pounds. 23 cents a pound, or you can keep what's back there. Curtain. You don't want the 23 cents a pound. I'm going to tell you right now that what's back there weighed 2,000 pounds. You could have had $460. She has 2,000 pounds. What has she got? She's got one ton of bricks. <laughs> Miss Philippines. Well, you won the beauty contest, but you lost to the ton of bricks in the end, right? Yes. All right, thank you, Grace Santos, for making that deal. Gary McKinnon and Brenda Douglas. And now, listen, I just finished doing something to my house, and you know what used brick goes for today? You just stand out on the street yelling, I got some used brick, you'll make more than $460. <laughs> of course, you gotta stand outside for a while selling them, but you'll get some customers. Listen, the big deal today is worth $4,546, and we'll see if our traders wanna go for one more deal. We'll start off with uh, Linda and Irwin Fairley, who have the appliances worth $1,524. Would you give it all away for a chance at the big deal, or hang on to what you got? Go. go for it. Go for it, he says. All right. So we got our first deal there. Brenda Douglas has the washer and dryer that she wanted so badly for $770. She's going to keep it? I'm going to go for the gusto, right? Yeah. You're going. Here she You got to go for the gusto. I don't like giving any plugs to beer companies, but that wasn't bad. She's going to go for the gusto, and I hope it doesn't go for the busto. And we'll be right back right after this. All right, here we go. Big deal today worth $4,546, and it could be behind door number one, where we have Monty's Piggy Bank. That's where we have cash, as you know. Or it could be behind door number two or door number three. The Fairleys gave up $1,500 plus. What door do they want? Number two. Door number two, and Brenda gave away the washer and the dryer worth $774. Three. For door number three, and we're going to see what you chose behind door number three for the washer and dryer. Brenda, take a look. And what do we got behind three? Well, there happens to be some film processing. Good. <laughs> it's a gift certificate for Kodak film processing. Redeemable wherever you see the Kodak side. Prints and enlargements on Kodak paper for a good look. And there's more to this deal. Beautiful and useful gifts for my lady. First, the world-famous Henwood Chip, a mixer that's more than a mixer with slicer, shredder, attachment, and other options to do most every food processing task. From Thorne Kenwood, it's valued at $335, and this is an assortment of Denby's Cascade giftware. Highly glazed, hand-shaped, and decorated stoneware pieces crafted in England with old-world durability and elegance from Denby Limited. The eight pieces sell for $449, and you'll receive $500 worth of beautiful handmade silk flowers imported fresh from the master craftsman of China to Florifax. There are 15,000 Florifax floors coast to coast. When you think of flowers, think of Florifax. The total value of this deal is $1,309. $770 to $1,300, Brenda. That should make a good deal for you. Thank you, my dear. All right. And Linda and Erwin, what door did you take? Two. Two. You know how much money there was in the piggy bank today had you gone for? Take a look at this amount of money in the piggy bank. We had, not bad, eh? $1,349 in cash. Almost took it. You were wavering between them. You almost took that one. And the big deal is here for the Fairleys. Starts off with carpeting for you. 
You'll receive $400 worth of carpeting of two point Antron 3 nylon fiber, resistor, wear and crushing, stays new looking longer than ordinary nylon carpets. And that carpeting will look great under this. Complete set for elegant dining. For your dining pleasure, a timeless traditional dining room by Broy Hill. Beautifully lighted china and server. Came back chairs and table are tastefully designed with pearl overlays. For you now and for always by Broy Hill. This set is valued at $2,081. And you'll set a beautiful table with a service for eight of King Frederick Dinnerware from Sigma, the Taste Center, a toll company. This set of fine porcelain is banded with the richness of royal blue cobalt and trimmed with 22 karat gold. And to add that special touch for gracious dining, Toll's Gold Kareem Flat. This dazzling flatware features a delicate beaded border, and all pieces are encased in 23 karat gold from Supreme Cutlery and Toll Company. The dinner and flatware are valued at $780. And for luxurious serving after dinner from Toll Silversmiths, this seven-piece Jack Shepherd coffee and tea service, including coffee and teapots, warming kettle, creamer, sugar and waste bowls, and tray, all furnished by Toll Silversmiths. And for entertainment while you sip your tea, we also have for you a big new color TV. It's the Electro Hall Park Hill color television set with 26 inch screen, illuminated channel indicator, and handsome styling. It's finished in engraved oak, the Park Hill by Electro Home. The total value of this big deal is $4,546. Congratulations, sir. A very, very good deal. Go down, take a look at the things that you've won. And while you do, I saw somebody over here with what I like a salami. So if you can show me some mustard, George goes to salami, I'll give you $200. Mustard. Where's the mustard? Did you bring the mustard? No. Did you bring the relish? No. Did you bring the bread? No. Well, how can I have my salami sandwich without all those things? Accommodations. Oh, you go with George. Hey, you For got Let's the Make a Deal are so provided by the Holiday Inn Harborside in Vancouver. A beautiful 21-story luxury downtown hotel overlooking the harbor. I want you to read the ingredients, so we'll be honest. If there is a if there is a condiment in there that is not salt or pepper, any kind of a spice at all, I'll make it $200. Read the recipe to me. Flour, two three cups of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt. Um. Let's make a deal as a Stephen Hayes Monty Hall production in association with Catalina Productions. Margarine. You're not doing too well. Keep going.